Atrial fibrillation is the most common heart rhythm disorder seen in clinical practice. It probably afflicts roughly six million Americans and is growing. It is thought that people over age 40, the rate of developing atrial fibrillation in one's lifetime is roughly one in four. An AFib, which is short for atrial fibrillation, is basically when the upper chambers of the heart do not contract synchronously with the lower chambers, the ventricles, and essentially those upper chambers quiver or beat in a very erratic fashion. Normally those upper chambers contribute a significant amount to the heart's cardiac output, even up to 25%. So patients in atrial fibrillation might experience a loss in their essentially perceived horsepower or ability to perform. And atrial fibrillation patients may manifest issues that are similar to heart failure in terms of poor exercise tolerance, shortness of breath with exertion. They may feel palpitations or an abnormal sensation of realizing your heartbeat. And importantly, atrial fibrillation is associated with important clinical manifestations such as heart failure, hospitalizations, and also is a very important risk factor for stroke.